بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ دس ویڈیو ول بی پرائمرلی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ سنگولیرٹی فنکشن اینڈ ایکچولی ول بی ایکسپلیننگ ایگزامپل سیون پوائنٹ ایٹ اینڈ سالونگ پریکٹس پرابلم سیون پوائنٹ ایٹ سو آئی ایم شیور یو ہیو لرنڈ واٹ از سنگولیرٹی فنکشن دس فنکشن از کالڈ یونٹ اسٹیپ فنکشن this is called unit impulse function and this function is called unit ramp function so these primarily form the singularity function okay straight away we come on to the example 7.8 gt is given these are the values and this is the time interval in which this is valued and we have to express this in terms of a step function and ramp function okay so the first step should be that we convert all parts in the form of a unit step function now let's recall the concept that we had when we say that time t less than zero that means actually we can multiply the signal by unit step function going in the negative direction so it is u minus t so from zero earlier the value is one and zero after the value is zero so for anything uh, t less than zero we actually we should multiply by u minus t so in our case gt is three for t less than zero so we multiply three by u minus t now the second part this is the time interval So let's see how we proceed for this time interval we represent this as a gate function from 0 to 1 there is a gate value 1 so we'll multiply by this gate how do we realize this gate in terms of a step function this is how it can be done that from 0 we take a unit step function going up to infinity and then at 1 we take another unit step function Uh, and then we uh, going in the negative direction and then we add the two when we add the two this portion will keep on cancelling up to infinity so what will be left is only this part and since this is starting at one therefore it will be at t minus one so minus u t minus one and so the the net function value will be u t minus u t minus one So this gate can be represented by this okay so in our case what we'll do is we'll multiply minus 2 by the gate function this function value here ut minus ut minus 1 and you can simplify then we come on to the third part this is t uh, for t greater than 1 this is the function now here also t greater than 1 means that from 1 we have a unit step function going towards the positive direction and its value will be u t minus 1 so we uh, will multiply the function by u t minus 1 and so here we multiply this function by u t minus 1 so this is the third value and now to get the final result we will add all three uh, parts So this was the first part this is the second part this is the third part and it is better to open every bracket so we are opening all the brackets here all now a very important point that we can convert any function that is multiplying by t like here it is into ram function all others cannot be converted into ram only those that are being multiplied by t can be converted into ram function and now let's recall what is ram function this is the basic definition of a ram function we write it as rt and actually it is a t function t function multiplied by ut that is from here it is 1 and from here it is 0 so ut multiplied by t gives us a ram function 
which is zero before zero and which is which is a slope after zero. Okay, now if this function is shifted by let's say amount t zero, then its name will change. It will be now called r t minus t zero and its value will be t minus t zero multiplied by u t minus t zero. So in simple words we can say that if we have to get a ramp function at t minus 1 or uh, at t is equal to 1 that is r t minus 1 then we have to get these two values. We have to have a t minus 1 and we have to have a u t minus 1. Now in our case we have u t minus 1 but we have only t so we have to convert this t into t minus 1. So that is the primary task here. Okay, so need to convert t into t minus 1 and how we could do that? We can simply add, uh, uh, um, subtract a minus 1 and add a plus 1. So the, it will remain, uh, the value will remain same. And now we can separate the two terms. So separating 2 t minus 1 ut1, 2 t minus 1 ut1 and then plus 2 u t minus 1 and minus 4 u t minus 1 and now we can simplify so this is can be written as the ramp function because it is t minus 1 u t minus 1 this form so we'll write it as 2 r t minus 1 the other items remaining same and now we can add and subtract like this is 2 plus 2 ut1, this is plus 2 ut1, this is minus 4 ut1, so this will get cancelled. So our final answer will be something like this, u minus t minus 2 ut and the ramp function. Okay, so I hope uh, you have got an understanding and now with this base we'll uh, follow or, or we'll solve the practice problem. Okay, so this is the practice problem. This has four parts. We we'll follow exactly the same technique. Here it is saying that we have to convert this into singularity functions. And singularity functions we saw will primarily it is the step function and the ramp function. Okay. So let's convert all the times into uh, the step function form. So t less than zero we can write as we did earlier u t minus one from 0 to 2 it is a gate function which can be realized by this ut minus u t minus 2 so this is the value that we will be using similarly for 2 to 6 2 to 6 we have a gate function which can be realized by ut minus 2 minus u t minus 6 so this is the value and for t greater than 6 we have to multiply by a step function u t minus 6. So, part 1, 0 multiplied by u minus uh, t is equal to 0. Part 2, minus 4, mul minus 4 multiplied by this value here for 0 to 2, so multiply with that. Part 3 is th 3t8 and multiply the value for 2 to 6, 2 to 6, this is the value, so we'll multiply by that. And part 4 is 0 multiplied by ut minus 6 is also 0. So primarily these two values we have. So adding all parts we get this value. Now this we have to simplify further to get into the step and ramp function. Okay, so we were here, we open everything, so we are just opening all the parts, further opening these into two parts and this also into two parts and now you can clearly see that we have a T here and we have a T here, so we will convert these into the ramp functions this technique we'll use. So t, we are writing now t minus 2 plus 2. 
here we have to make t6 so this t will write t minus 6 plus 6 and separating this is one group to here remember 3 into 2 6 similarly here 3 into 6 18 and this is the first part and now this is ready to be written in the form of a ramp function this these two we can add same value so it will become plus 2 ut this will write in the form of a ramp 3 rt minus 2 this will be another ramp 3 rt minus 6 and these two solving will make minus 10 ut 6 so this is the answer and we have similar answer in the book minus 4 ut plus 2 then the ramp then he has written it before earlier and this ramp goes here so i hope this gives you an understanding how you can easily solve this type of a problem by following steps thank you